Good day, YouTube. It is the 2nd of March, 2023, and uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm going to kind of welcome a whole bunch of new subscribers. Got a lot of recent activity on the channel. I really appreciate that. It's kind of exciting. Um, I thought it was dying here a few months ago. But, uh, so it's kind of a, you guys that have uh, recently subscribed or new to the channel or whatever i'm going to give you kind of a quick overview on what the heck i do and uh what's coming up projects that are sitting out there um waiting for my attention uh, a lot of this stuff was kind of waiting for me to retire which i did about eight weeks ago um first of the year i called it quits at 58 years of age and uh i get to now spend my days at my big beautiful shop um working on what it is I want to work on and uh, it's been you know kind of a, a, a lifetime goal um, to be able to just get up and do what I want to do and have created a work environment that allows me the freedom to you know work on this or that or whatever it is I want to work on and I've said that a lot I get up in the morning and go this is what I want to work on today. If it wasn't what I was needed to finish or was I was working on yesterday or whatever, so be it. We're moving on to something different because that's what I want to work on. So uh, this is the barn. It is my shop. We don't live here. I spend a lot of time here. Um, we live uh, in that direction. Uh, about a quarter mile away the crow flies. takes about a half a mile, three quarters of a mile or something to walk it. Um, you can get there in about 12, 13 minutes. So it's kind of nice to have a shop um, that's not attached to the house and the daily, daily activities, and uh, but it's not too far away that you can't just walk there. So it's kind of cool. I feel kind of spoiled, so forth. Um, that's what I used to call the solar shed. I guess I still do, because it was only solar powered, but I did run power over to it, and I have a little bit of power in there now. Mostly it was for storing my lawnmowers and some stuff, but it has evolved, so we'll get to that in a second. So this was a called Cooley's Dairy. It was built in 1947. We bought it around 15 years ago, and uh, spent a lot of time, a lot of money to rehab the building. This was uh, actually where they brought the cows in. These were just stall doors and stuff in this area. Um, the it was a post and beam kind of deal, cedar beams, and they were kind of rotting off. We had to jack this side of the building up and put new beams under it and we kind of finished it. And it was never a finished space. We poured concrete in that floor and stuff. We made this barn really work as a shop, put uh, you know, commercial roll up doors in it, um, took the uh, two layers of metal roof off of it and put a uh, architectural three tab on it. I've got some moss going on up there going to have to deal with in a month or so. And you can see carport out back. Got our two trucks and campers. We have truck campers of vintage and a more modern. And then our 1963 PD4106 uh, bus under a 40-foot canopy there. So uh, used to be able to drive all the way around the building, which was very convenient, especially with trailers. But we can't do it anymore. We just got too much stuff. Um, Anyway, that's a vehicle I picked up this last summer, 500 bucks, fixed it, been driving it ever since, driving the wheels off of it, drive it every day. Um, my 99 Chevy Tracker, this is my 93 Chevy or Geo Tracker, all the same, and uh, I love that vehicle. I leave it hooked up to the trailer because there's always something to get. If I unhook that trailer, I guarantee in 20 minutes I'll be hooking it back up to go get something, so I leave it connected. Um, these are project tractors that are not really projects i'm going to wreck them out um very soon as soon as the weather turns i need to do them outside so i can take my good old john deere 140 in the bucket loader and pick these things up and strip them of their parts we did a video where we stripped one similar to this one actually stripped it of its parts i put like the transaxle and stuff on marketplace sold immediately so i think these things are easier to sell if they're parted out and uh, i do need to get rid of them this is a project coming up. It actually never sat outside a day in its life according to the original owner that I got it from um, until I got it and now it's sitting outside. Um, it's a nice little tractor. Um, I probably have it sold. I just need to get it in and go through it. It's got a great 
you know, post twin 18 horse industrial commercial engine in it. Um, obviously has a grass catcher. Why this is open, I'm not sure. Wind must have blew it open. Anyway, that'll be coming up a uh, very future video, I hope. Got a few to finish up ahead of it. Uh, out back of the shed, I've got a couple other projects um, that are kind of hanging out. This one, I haven't done anything but charge the battery, and I think it charged. But uh, probably need to take it to car wash and get it clean and then get it going. Um, well, it looks like a smaller deck. It's a uh, 12 and a half horse Briggs. She's pretty dirty. We'll get her cleaned up though. I think it'd make a good machine. I think it has some wiring issues, but uh, we'll have to sort that out. And then that little craftsman back there is kind of a cutie. It's in really pretty good shape. It is a hydro and uh, it has no engine in it. So that rig I wrecked out the other day um, had a 16 and a half horse Kohler. That might go in there, but I love Kohler engines, so I'm actually hunting or possibly going to put together something else. Put a Briggs back in it or something. If I'm going to sell it, Kohler I might keep for myself. Um, so this is the, what I and I call the solar shed. Um, it's uh, I can work on projects now. I kind of got it organized and such. Um, the push mowers for my dad, he works on those. As is that string trimmer, I picked them up free the other day. That's my 140H1. I also have a 140H3 inside the barn. Um, this one I do use for different things. I, sometimes I invent things for them. But uh, these two John Deere's are kind of waiting to have their decks rebuilt. Kind of fix them up um, and get those sold. Um, I don't mind if the uh, John Deere's sitting around a little bit. Um... I like to work on John Deere's. They're super easy to sell. And uh, if they don't get done, you know, by March or April where I can sell them easily, uh, we'll do them another day. Inside the solar shed, a little dark. These are just my 12 volt lights coming on um, on one battery and one 100 watt panel. But anyway, we got a little room to move around. But I took some time, did a video actually, and got all my parts and engines and stuff. On a, sh a shelf where we extended them, there's a hole right there where there was an engine. It's inside. We're working on it. Video to come pretty soon. I got some other filters and stuff ordered, but um, I don't like to run out of parts when I'm working on something. So the things I'm going to use quite often, they're cheaper by the dozen. Literally a dozen oil filters there. I got another dozen oil filters coming for there so I have filters for Kohler's and for Briggs and Stratton's and stuff and got some spark plugs that come in and stuff the ones that I use um, you can go down and buy them onesie twosie at a time or you can get them for about half the price maybe even less than half the price if you order a bunch of them so that's the way I roll um, air filters for various different Briggs and different Kohler's and such um, anyway this is my my little small engine shed um, we got it pretty organized. I feel real good about that. We got some better lights in here. They're not on currently. I'm a big fan of snapper mowers. This is a 1988 model. Uh, it's a commercial deck. Has the Robin Wisconsin engine on it that is now Subaru. Um, anyway, that thing has been mowing my grass every week since uh, 1988. It's uh, a long time, 35 years old, and it's still running good um nothing nothing new to see here that chipper shredder um i need to probably do a video on it and get it taken apart and sharpen the blades never done it but uh, that should be coming up say a uh, snapper i picked up a new battery for my snapper rear engine rider um i love this machine um especially for mowing around here my wife and i also have a property out the oregon coast i take this over there Spring cleaning and maybe once during the summer and mows a lot of hills and stuff. This thing has more traction than any other riding mower you can own. The weight being right over the rear wheels, um, even with that turf type tire on it, it's good. Again, I love Kohler engines. This has a 14 horse Kohler command. Um, it is a wonderful running engine. Um, even when the battery was bad, one pull and that thing would fire right up. All right, let's do a little more wandering.
quick walk outside. Uh, this is my car trailer. We're going to do a video on this pretty soon. It's a 2001 Eagle. Um, the deck needs to be replaced. And uh, that will be a video coming up uh, when the weather gets a little bit better. So we can work on this when it's comfortable. I put one board on it last year because um, it was just completely shot. But, you know, at the spur of the moment, I may need to go get a vehicle. And it's getting, <laughs> the deck is getting scary, scary, scary. We did get new tires on it. Got some Ranger wheels on it and stuff. It's a great trailer. It's hauled many, many, many things. Gone to a lot of swap meets and stuff with parts on it. But uh, we need to take care of it. Um, so we're going to get that deck replaced very soon. I have a mobile DJ business. I DJ most of the local car shows in the, around this area. These are my two speaker towers. I put speakers on these towers and then they send them up in the air where it's not in people's ears and uh, gets the sound out really, really good. They're kind of my inventions. This one will take four speakers up around 20 feet. That one will take eight speakers up around 12, 14 feet. This is that tractor we wrecked out. It's the first one I ever did. It's just kind of sitting here waiting for a full load. We'll get those other three stripped down for their parts, load them all up, and take them to scrap. Um, these are my two truck campers and trucks. My 66 F100, my shop truck. Got a lot of videos on that. It's got a you know five liter Windsor motor in it. It's uh, currently got a three speed. Uh, transmission, I have two three-speed with overdrive transmissions. I'm going to get a buddy to rebuild and a video coming one of these days to install three-speed overdrive transmission in this truck. That will be outstanding. Um, the camper is a what we believe is a 1957. It is an Alcan camper. This was a prototype to the Alaskan campers. This is one of about three or four Alcan campers known to exist. Probably the nicest one that this does still exist. Um, this is my uh, 2000 Ford F-250 Super Duty. It's a 7.3 Power Stroke. And uh, the camper, I'm trying to remember what year it is. We'll call it a 94 because I don't really remember. But it's just your basic Lance camper, but it's in pretty good shape. And uh, I do love that camper. Um, it's going to see some real use this summer, I think, now that we're finally retired. This is uh, for sale. It's a Cushman Truckster. Tire's a little low. Got the 18-horse air-cooled engine in it. It will run. Has been a couple years since it did run, but need to get rid of it. So if you're interested, ooh, let me know. Um, did a couple videos on this guy. This is, believe it or not, as ugly as it is. A 2008 uh, Yamaha Drive. It's a 48 volt electric golf cart. That's a project coming up. I'm not sure if we'll strip that rattle can paint job off of it and repaint it, or if we'll buy a custom body and do something really cool. But uh, definitely going to be a project. We're going to do something cool with it. It's going to at least get wheels and tires and fixed up and probably sold i do want to do one for as a keeper for myself but i want it to be a gas engine cart so i think this would just be a fix it and sell it maybe this comes in queue in april or may i do not have water service here at the barn um it was attached to a house it's uh kind of way over there kind of just see the roof over there Anyway, there was water coming from that house, from a well to the barn back in the 40s and 50s and such. Um, I actually could get water from them if I paid them for it, but the landlord that owns the house doesn't want me to do that anymore. So I have a 250 gallon or 200 gallon, whatever that is, plastic tote. And we fill it full of water, either from a neighbor, or I bring it barrel by barrel, and we pump that for water here at the barn. I have a composting toilet and such. Um, this is a project. We did a Will It Run video. It runs real good. We got it all tuned up. New carburetor and all that stuff. We're going to rebuild the deck. The parts are here. It's just waiting in queue for uh, its next it's next on the list kind of deal. Even got the lens for the headlight that was missing. So we'll get that one done. Get that one sold. Um, my 1941 or two 
a mobile gas pump and associated oil pumps. Those were nicely painted when I set them out here 15 years ago. Not so nice anymore. Let's go inside, shall we? So this again was where they brought the cows in. Um, there used to be just stall doors on this wall. And again, we had to kind of jack this wall up a little bit because it had kind of rotted into the ground. And then over on this side, there was a place where they put hay and the cows would eat the hay while they were waiting to be milked. And then they would pass through this sliding door into this is the milking room. And this is uh, kind of where I work on smaller projects. Um, I only have one heater going, but it's got four quartz heaters and such. Got a little insulation, got LED lights, which are not on currently. And uh, got some projects in here that we're finishing up. Let's, well, we'll go through them real quick while we're here. Um, the Scott's mower is just about done and out of here. We are, I could probably finish it today if I had a mind to. I think I'm going to take the day off and be lazy. We'll turn some lights on. Bang, bang, there we go. Um, so yeah, the Scott's mower, we just figured out a couple things on that yesterday. Um, this Craftsman's just about ready to go. I got some deck issues. I got to pull that deck, figure that out. Probably order a tube for the left rear tire and um, a grass chute thing on that side. It's kind of spendy, but anyway. So that'll finish this little guy up. Got some videos on this if you want to go back and see. Got a lot of videos on the Scott's mower as well. If you want to go back and look. And this is uh, my snapper walk behind. Told you I was a big snapper fan. I actually got this one for free. It's got the eight and three quarter horse engine in it. And uh, I tried to put a needle and seat in it yesterday in the carburetor because it was leaking gas. Now it leaks worse than it ever did. Remember when I was out in the shed, I showed you there's a hole where this engine was and we've drug it out. Um, it's just, it was literally an engine was sitting on the ground when I picked up some other tractors. You can see the dirt, some of the dirt still on. I've tried to clean it up a little bit. Um, I don't know if there's anything wrong with it. So other than the starter gear is missing. So we're uh, going to get back on this. I'd order a carburetor for it. I had to go scrounge up all the missing parts, including um, that cowl, which is actually off a different engine, but correct for the engine. It is a 21 horse uh, Briggs single and I'm missing the starter. So I got a starter, but I got a starter gear in here too. Um, and dipstick was missing intake and stuff for the air cleaner intake manifold. So I think I have enough parts to put this thing back together and see if we can bench run it. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to this because there's two more out there in the shed too that I know nothing about. Are they all good or is one of them good? I don't know, but we'll figure it out. So that's coming up. Um, one of the projects I was thinking about when I, you will know, save it back for retirement, is this 1955 Cushman Truckster. Um, this is actually, uh, I've had this thing a long time. I'm going to keep it. I really want to fix it up, paint it. I don't want to restore it to the nines. I just want to fix it up, make it presentable. Um, I'm going to make some new fenders for it and stuff. This one's beat to a pulp and the other one is rusted out. It has a very rare electric start. It's three speed forward, one reverse. Um, pretty cool machine. The bed's actually in pretty good shape. Um, looking forward to getting on this project got a lot of parts here for this is deck parts for that and that with the headlight lens for that one i just showed you outside my little welding table i don't really use that sandblaster anymore i'm thinking about getting rid of it um this is uh what we call the gathering room had a friend actually make us a uh laser sign for the gathering place um there's my retirement after 45 years yeah um anyway it, anything that's interesting goes on the wall um i don't even have internet out here anymore i hotspot my phone but uh ordering parts and so forth this is the kitchen area i do love to cook actually i don't do it a lot but it's kind of 
nice to have a area where you know cooking can occur i'm sort of a prepper as well so uh, this stove runs on propane this stove runs on wood and i do use it this is just like paper stuff i burn all my paper out here um and i just need paper to get fire started so anyway sort of pantry i do have tv and stuff in here i do have a nice cool old filco refrigerator hopefully it's not too messy inside but this is very original and wonderful old fridge i do have access to the rest of the barn from in the kitchen through this door except i have a truck parked right there makes it difficult but i'm giving you the tour anyway it's a, usually a mess like this and it's usually very dusty because again i heat with wood out here when i have heat um we'll pop into the bigger part of the barn walk through some other projects kind of a mess i gotta get this stuff put away it's always something right walking in we'll turn some lights on bang so we're in the big part of the barn now the building's about 50 by 50 um that's the mystery machine it's on my mobile dj vehicle we have amps and stuff all built in this is the step van this is the bigger mobile dj vehicle and uh it has a lot of equipment also built in more equipment than scooby van does this is more capable uh we're doing big sound events even a small band and so forth there's a lot of work that could be done on this i just got to get to it this is uh my 88 club car golf cart it's a gas engine golf cart i was getting it all fixed up for uh we're gonna follow a dirt track race this summer and i uh, spent a lot of time and money and such getting a rear seat on it getting led headlights on it trying to make this thing run right and uh now it seems like the engine's going in it so i picked up a honda gx390 as a plan b but very soon we're going to get this golf cart in we're going to take that engine out it's a yamaha eight and a half horse yamaha no eight and a half horse kawasaki and see what the heck is wrong with it i want to fix it and put it back just like it came from the factory but um, i'm not going to spend a million dollars to fix that eight and a half horse kawasaki we'll put that honda gx390 it's not a clone it's a real honda and uh we'll put one in and make that work uh my 20 ton press harbor freight pretty pretty uh normal um this little golf cart here is a 1964 cushman scotsman three-wheel golf cart with a tiller um i rebuilt the engine some of my very first videos on youtube were rebuilding that engine my uh eu 7000 honda generator doesn't have its first hour on it yet um charged battery the other day just keeping it up and i keep a lot of my tools and stuff all on wheels some of these things are pushed out because i was getting stuff in and out this can kind of see that's my other honda honda my john deere 140h3 um never really finished it, it does run and drive um but it's been just kind of parked there for a while so i do have an upstairs i might take a quick look up there just so you get a a feel for it's my 1956 ford f100 and then this is my 1936 ford this is a one and a half or two ton um we put an 8ba flathead in it with some high compression cast iron heads started to convert it to 12 volt it hasn't run in a long time need to get this thing back running we're building a gypsy wagon on the back a house truck if you will on the wall over there are most of the lights and stuff we're going to use the wall sconce all antique stuff and uh, my wife and i used to be part-time antique dealers and have acquired a lot of parts for this thing even over there on the wall is a, a doorbell for it um i think there's another doorbell up there a lot of parts and stuff are are acquired for this vehicle over here actually there's the panel ray heater and the 20 inch vintage magic chef stove that's a panel ray heater okay that is an all propane doesn't take power to operate 
and then a really cool little magic chef stove everything works i tested everything all off for all it runs on propane by the way that cabinet there is all the parts i have bought for things that are everything is stored in that cabinet for later when i can get to them um again this 56 f100 it has been down to the frame the, all the body panels have been acid dipped properly uh undercoated uh the interior is actually painted got all the chrome done this thing i have everything except for the glass to finish this every nut bolt and screw is a brand new stainless steel nut bolt and screw again all the chrome is done we just got to finish it just needs time hopefully soon okay i'm gonna go upstairs yeah, upstairs is my wood pile. Like I said, I'm sort of a prepper, so I keep a lot of like propane, um, freeze dried food stuff at home. There's just a lot of storage up here. A little studio up here. It's always a mess, but it's a nice space. Um, I collect records downstairs. I got a bunch of 45s, like thousands of 45s. Up here, I have totes full of uh, record albums. <laughs> They're stuffed underneath every table. There's four more. I have thousands and thousands of records. Speakers. This is my little studio. Well, it's kind of always a mess, but. Anyway, just showing you around. My uh, air gun collection. Some of them anyway. My view <laughs> from the second floor. My computer. I've got a pretty good sound system up here. Kind of running through that mixer and um, that stereo and EQ. And that mixer actually and those two speakers are hooked to it anyway you have got the tour one day one week I'll spend up here and clean things up there's a hundred foot snake if you're familiar with audio stuff 24 channel snake I have a 50 foot 12 channel snake I carry in one of the vans the big step van audio equipment piles of CB radios this crazy kind of stuff I collect it's nuts um, there's the seat for the 56 F100 it's all upholstered all wrapped up in plastic yeah I have table and chairs for up to 50 people out here which we've done we probably won't do it again there's a bunch of vintage things CDs, yeah, wiring. So, guys and gals, that's the tour. We've seen some projects. Who knows which one will be next? Again, I work on what I want to work on. Um, I love my shop. I feel like I spoiled myself, but you know, I did all this, you know, while I was working hard, so. Got a 9,000 pound two post lift. We got two roll up doors on the south side of the shop. We got lots and lots of tools. I even have a heated parts washer. Of course, I don't keep the heat on all the time, but uh, it's a heated parts washer. It's very nice. Very nice. There's never nothing to do. Sometimes, like today, I just need to take the day off and do something I want to do. Many of you don't know this, but uh, I used to race cars. So I bought this car, um, 1986. This was getting it ready for the 1987 season. Um, it was a buddy of mine working on it when the picture was taken. He actually currently owns the car. Um, as far as I know, I sold it to my dad, who campaigned it af at, that's a picture of him in the car, and uh, that's after I got it painted again, getting it ready for the 87 season. 
the uh, grill was all half inch EMT conduit we found some belt rubber on the job site we were working on that is a 1966 Dodge Charger we had a 383 in it good 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 oh boy what do you think welding supplies I like to make good use of all my space I keep everything where I can find it extra welding wire you want to start in on a weekend and run out of welding wire Ooh, it's cold out there uh, this is essentially a nut bolt cabinet because I don't like running out of fasteners on the weekends either anyway fenders for the 56 they're uh, four inches wider than stock fenders gonna look good gonna look good my little uh, spray gun collection guys and gals you've seen the tour if you're a new subscriber man I appreciate you subscribing to the channel um, if you have any suggestions for me I'm doing I'm doing really good now at answering comments uh, I, I finally got organized enough to do that so throw a comment down I'll get to it I'll respond to you if you have a suggestion or whatever good or bad I don't care um, doesn't mean I'll change what I'm doing but I'll acknowledge your suggestion and if it's uh, something I want to do we'll do it so thanks for watching appreciate those comments subscribe if you haven't already if you have just subscribed welcome to the channel and uh thank you all for uh, many years of uh hanging in there and let's just do something cool by the way i used to have that car 1963 studebaker gt hawk it was a super hawk supercharged four speed twin traction we're in i sold it yep a lot of things i used to have there's me as a as a two three year old or something me and my dad under a car that he doesn't remember what it was but guys gals catch you next time all right